Say what? If you like our videos, please don't forget to support the channel and subscribe. Hello guys and welcome to my channel. Today I've decided to make a video about Ethereum mining with an Acer Nitro N50 with an NVIDIA RTX 3060 Ti. And although I'm not really a mining fan and I've not bought this computer to mine, I've noticed that some of you are asking me about it in my other videos about this desktop. And by the way, if you want to check out the unboxing video of this desktop, you can click on the link above or wait until the end of the video where you will have a link to it. If you like my videos, don't forget to subscribe to the channel because I would really appreciate that. So just to contextualize, this desktop comes with an NVIDIA RTX 3060 Ti. In my version, it comes with a non LHR version. And for those of you who don't know what this is, NVIDIA has launched some of these graphics cards as an LHR version that stands for Lit Hash Rate with the purpose of discouraging people from buying these graphic cards for mining. The NVIDIA RTX 3060 Ti is one of the best graphic cards for mining Ethereum because you can get in some cases around 60 MHz per second of hash rate with a power consumption as low as 120 watts. And I ask you to stay tuned until the end of the video where I will show you the best overclock settings for this desktop to mine Ethereum. But a very important question that I know that some of you are doing right now is how much money can you get with this graphic card mining Ethereum? Of course that it depends on your electricity price and, and on the Ethereum value. But you can expect to get a profit of around $53 a month and around $644 a year. Not bad for a single graphic card, right? Okay, so now finally we've got to the practical part of this video. I will now show you what are the best overclock settings to this desktop so that we have the higher hash rate with lower power consumption. I am using the Phonix Miner software with the other mine mining pool. As you can see we just started mining and our temperature is beginning to rise. We have a power consumption of 196 watts and we are getting an about 49.50 mega hash per second of hash rate. I will now change the settings in the MSI afterburner. I will drop the core clock in 200 MHz because we don't need a very high core clock to, to have a high hash rate. What do we need? is a little more memory clock so I will get more 800 of memory clock and I will drop now the power limit because I know that we don't need this much power to have a higher hash rate as you can see the hash rate is already rising we get around 52 mega hash per second 54 with a power consumption of only 131 watts so we've managed to drop the power consumption in 33% and we've managed to get some more mega hash per second of hash rate. We couldn't get the 60 mega hash hash rate that we see in some other NVIDIA RTX 3060 Ti but this really is a nice value for a desktop of this value. So this is all for today guys. As always, let me know in the comments which games you want to see next and if you like my videos, stay tuned for the next episode and see you next time. If you like our videos, please don't forget to support the channel and subscribe.